Rosa Salazar's performance as Alita is the driving force behind this fully digital human character. Rosa was captured live on set, performing with other actors for nearly all of the 2,400 shots Alita appears in. A custom capture suit that tracked her breathing was used for body performance, along with a dual camera face rig that provided depth accurate control points. Performance data combined with dynamic facial scans gave artists a much more nuanced understanding of how Rosa's face behaved, allowing them to create a full resolution Rosa puppet that contained over 2,500 face shapes that animators then retargeted over to Alita. This extra validation was particularly valuable in complex close-up shots where micro-movements were essential to sell tactile experiences. Alita's Cyberdoll body had over 8,000 digitally handcrafted pieces with more than 800 pieces in the hands alone. We developed a procedural pore, wrinkle and micro-geometry system for extreme close-ups where we needed more texture resolution in the skin. Fully geometric eyes were built with simulated iris fibers that could be adjusted dynamically as the camera passes through. The colorful eclectic world of Iron City started with a large Texas backlot and was extended digitally by creating building clusters with procedurally generated bespoke details. Brick maps were used for smoke, dust and dirt, along with eddy simulations in Nuke to add complexity to the broad set extensions and entirely computer generated districts. Midground and background regions were procedurally generated using open street map data from industrial areas of Nairobi and Panama. We created a physically based atmosphere model for our in-house renderer that accurately simulated light transport from the sun, incorporating ozone and procedurally generated clouds and a localized pollution layer. Additional weathering and staining was done with deep projections, material IDs and procedural texture maps. The futuristic humans that inhabit Iron City pose their own challenges. You can see what you're up against. Roto shapes were merged with deep data to marry digital or partly digital characters with real actors. Stereo disparity between the plate and CG was often warped, so deep projection techniques were used to blend the two for accurate contact points. The crashed warship environment utilized a single physically based lighting rig for both above and below water. We also made significant improvements to our water rendering approach, allowing us to render everything in a single physically plausible frame, including accurately modeled scattering, attenuation, and caustics. We also developed a new dynamics framework which allowed us to calculate water, hair and cloth in a single coupled simulation. Cinematography also played a key role in the style of the film. For Underworld, we directly matched key beats and poses from the iconic manga source material which required a hyper-real approach to camera. We developed very speed tools to allow animators to fine-tune the stylized action on top of the performance capture in extreme slow motion while simulation artists were able to work in real time. This approach carried through to the high-octane motorball sequence which was primarily CG. We started choreographing the cameras to mirror Formula One using multiple views ranging from POV, dynamic spider cams and embedded lock-offs. We then leveraged the freedom of the virtual camera to add more dynamic, accelerated moves to match the energy of the animation. The action was accentuated by vibrant lighting cues and the pulsing power of a packed nighttime stadium crowd witnessing a dramatic showdown.